support. Yeah, that's it, yeah. That's not what they said right now. Just a little bit. Yeah. I think this is the weakest, like, the cleanse right now, you know, so. So did you want? No, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, we're in death, I'm not sure a little bit, but. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> so, bonus, guys. Bonus. You know, real quick. Um, yeah, this is going to be a live video about um, cashless society. Uh, you some feet? Hey. And kind of what's that about? Because pretty much, um, it's kind of like a where like people don't really believe that you can live in a society or have a society in general that does not operate uh, between you know money, cash, or Ooh. online cash. Okay, so I for disclaimer: this will sound very idealistic, but don't forget that most things that exist now Everything. started. Yeah, everything that started in this tangible world was an idea at first. Sorry, I was eating grapes. <laughs> Blueberries. Um, yeah, just want to let you guys know that this will seem up in the air, you know? But, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think where I want to really start is on the point where people think money is back behind gold etc and it's like no like okay fine physical cash african dinar and euro pound whatever it's not behind gold let's just say that right then what's back behind you know the gold then what's back behind what's back behind the gold you know because you go to the source it goes to the mind you know and with the mind values when we value gold then gold can be now used to be monetized in a way where it can be of value to, you know, um, trade and barter and commercialize with. Because, like, gold is like what? like A what? rock. It's a, yeah, it's a, it's a shiny rock to the earth. I'm like, it is a shiny rock. <laughs> right, okay, okay, fine. Um, I think you can, like, gold can use to, like, power computers to some degree. Computers, right? Mm -hmm. and the, the, there's a type of gold computers to power it up, right? Yeah, and we have gold within us as well, so it, it powers us, this machine. You exactly. Know? And, like, you know? other... Like, you can't, like, if the computer gets a scratch on it, whatever it's called, you know, or damage, the computer can't heal itself, you know? Mm. But our bodies get damaged. It can heal itself, you know? So showing we got more powerful technology within our bodies than we do, you know, with man-made technologies, you know? But, um, yeah, and it shows like what we value more within the society that we live in, which is money. We all value money than we do our own bodies, mm -hmm. you know. Like, we would rather work a nine to five knowing that our whole minds, our mentality is just, um, on work the entire time on money, you know, mm -hmm. gotta pay bills, gotta um, pay for gas, gotta pay for transportation, gotta pay for my kids um soccer you know whatever mm -hmm. program and all that with all money, of that with money. exactly with money you know so we would rather you know exhaust our bodies exhaust our souls exhaust our emotional body exhaust this physical body for money mm -hmm. which is like through like unfulfilled ways majority of the time mm -hmm. for people Yes, and it even shows within our humanity what we would do for money. We would kill for money. We would steal for money. We'll rob for money. We'll, you know, like that's how valuable um, money is in this society, mm -hmm. you know? So you would do anything yeah, for money. Babe, yeah, literally. You I mean, would, mm -hmm. you know, okay, yeah. Go <laughs> back. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. I mean, like, there's times where I'll talk to, like, people, right? Let's say before I'm at the workplace, right? And um, I'll talk to somebody and be like, okay, cool, man, you know, like, what, you know, what, what do you like to do for a passion? Like, what, like, what fulfills you, you know, your heart? Some, like, some people will be like, well, making money. <laughs> and I'm just like, uh, it's not, it's not really a real passion. It's more about of a, it's more of a subjugated necessity brought to us through via consumerism. You know, and a false, you know, a fallacy of um, values being 
I'm perverted? Because you can't eat money. So wouldn't the food be more valuable than, than money itself? Because we eat food every day. You don't eat, you don't eat gold every day. You don't eat gold every day. You know, we just wear gold. That's it. And like, yet, gold is supposedly, you know, the money is back behind gold, supposedly. And it's like, what? Like, but really, our minds value the gold, which makes, you know, um, the gold to be backed, you know, to be like, uh, the, like, value for the money, you know? And mm-hmm. like, yeah. And mining gold. Your mind in gold. Yes. <laughs> Semantics. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Um, it's all in your mind, like you say, like, all of us believing in one thing and valuing one thing, that's minding, you know. Where are you on your no, no, Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, gold, you, you know, that's this video. <laughs> where the collective mind is, you know, is like physical money, um, Ethernet money, you know. NFTs, yeah, that's true. Bitcoin, who. whatever coin, you know. Um, You're just creating more middle middle people, middlemen, to get to the point of whatever it is, you know. You kind of like go with the trend, you know. It's like you don't gotta do that. Like, exactly. We should be. You should even want to be on, like, have your eyes to the screen in general, any screen. Yeah, we're doing. Like, it's not good for your <laughs> eyes in the, in the mm-hmm. first place, like. You're like, we're burning our retinas as we speak, you know. Even though we're on our phone right now, this is definitely to our eyes. Thankfully, they can regenerate to some degree, of course, but, like, mm-hmm. less of this, the more healthy we're, we're going to be. Yes, and um, talking about, like, valuing money over our bodies, we all know that we need that gold, the sun, you know, but we're trapped in a box, in a house, in a uh, an office, or whatever, you know, to pay for, you know, those bills, whatever. Just, yeah, to stay in that Sustain and cycle maintain. Of yes, and maintain that. Mm-hmm. You know, so we're all maintaining that collective mindset, you know, mm-hmm. of money. Yeah, which I want to go into, like, because, like, a lot of us, we do have money. We get paid, like, $4,000, you know, or so, or like, six. Three thousand dollars or whatever, two hundred hundred dollars a month, whatever, right? We got money, but it says as far as money goes, right? But that most of that money is going towards paying rent, rent, gas to go to work, <laughs> exactly. Um, time as well too, away from your family and kids as well too. Mm-hmm. And like it's like a lot of us, we don't know how to live minimalistic, naturally, and that term at this point seems like a like a like a like a strange thing to do now and like like a you know a hard thing to do but we it's only a term now because we're so consumeristic that now the term minimalistic you know is created through that you know for for duality purposes you know but before we live quote unquote minimalistic you know back in the day like naturally because we didn't crave so many things like we didn't you know through advertisements you mm-hmm. know advertisement is when we advert someone's attention, someone's focus on something, something mm. you know, where you make it, they make it seem like you need this, mm-hmm. you need a Chanel bag, you need Nikes, you need Air Max, you, you need Jordans, or you need this specific kind of car, or you need these kind of, this amount of clothes, or these amount of things on Amazon, or something like that, but like, no, you, we need a lot less, like, we, like we're, we need a phone, you know, we need this and that, but of course, but we need more breath. We need more sunlight, yeah. sunlight. We need more community. We need more yeah, could, yeah, unity. Mindset, community you know? mindset, yeah. Um, yes. That is cashless mindset. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, we need less of a middleman, you know, and more like understanding the interconnectedness that we yeah. are. Interdependency, you know. Yes. Not codependent, not independent. Interdependent. Yes, because we're all codependent on money. Um, we would, you know, how some folks are like, oh, this is for my family, you know, rather than like based off of like the community and the opposite of community or whatever. Um, Mm. yeah, individualistic kind of thing. So it's like money towards the individual rather than the community, which would actually 
be better for everyone rather than just um, one person having one like one thing you know that would create like you know criminals in this society and whatnot like oh um, this person has this I'm gonna go rob them because you know everyone values this and whatnot and you know um, yeah people people most robbers they steal money or things that equate to money value you know money mm-hmm. technology and maybe cars you know like if it's on food then like okay you probably some real you're some real predicaments you know but majority is money and electronics you know mm-hmm. but yeah. um yeah even like with the whole mindset thing and you know and being individualistic like a lot of us right now are living in like we're paying like rent that's like eighteen hundred dollars a month and one person owns like a two bedroom to themselves mm-hmm. you know and like literally we can have like three families live in a two bedroom apartment for like three months, you know, and like each family people is working like some jobs for like three months and get out of, you know, sit, sit a lot of money up, right? Like, you know, com- com- you know communi- communitize together and, you know, buy land within like three months together, easy. And grow food. And yeah, and grow food. I mean, shoot, maybe even six months, you know? Three, yeah. yeah three know, to six months. Just do it a month. Like, mm-hmm. let's say, you know, okay, it's just, you know, one person owns a two, two bedroom house, right? And each 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 person in the house, you know, how is housing like, you know, a mother and father that's called, right? And let's say all the men go to work for, you know, full time for three months. <laughs> you know, and you hey. do, and you do all the math together, you know, like you can set up money um together because you, you know you most of the money you know we have right now is going towards rent. Mm-hmm. It's all going towards rent. Yeah, you know? it's literally a vicious cycle, you know, that um, okay, you're making money, and we know that there is money in the community, but it is just going towards the vicious cycle where you're completely, almost always running dry, you know, and living, like, paycheck to paycheck. Literally. That's that's scary. Personally, I haven't done it before, but, like, where you work for a whole week, not strong, but a week, because, you know, you work to the weekend, and the weekend, just, you know, weekend state, that's what's called a weekend, okay, you know, and... You, you don't even have enough money yet to even pay for your rent for that month. If you miss a week, you know, then you're behind on rent pay, you know? Yes, and then if you stay up um, with work, you know, you miss that, like, um, I guess... Like, like, like missing out? Like, centering yourself, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, you're not centered within oneself because you're doing something that you don't want to do, knowing that it's not going towards the collective. And I feel like this generation is about um, collective, like the collective. Like, how can I benefit the collective? How can the job that I'm doing is going to the collective, you know, rather than... Slowly, yeah. We're Like, a capitalistic... Yeah, it is happening. Slowly, yeah, Mm -hmm. for sure, you know. Because that's, that's kind of like, that's, that's our next point, which is some um, generational roles. And what we, what we mean by that is that, you know, this current generation we live in right now, like, you know, we're working towards being more, we're transitioning to being more cashless. I'm not mm-hmm. saying, you know, we're not saying to be completely cash free, mm-hmm. but cashless, as in we use a lot less cash, you know, and a lot more self-sustainable resources yes you know? like bartering trading you know like it's you love, have this love, yes love. exactly oh yeah let's talk about yeah, that it's love how love, love. money sorry <laughs> money is not backed by love it's backed by um capitalism and it creates less love in, in, in society mm-hmm, because you would do anything on. for money you know you can go on about that yeah exactly you know so Alright, kids right there just playing some, <laughs> some little games right now. <laughs> Cause uh, yeah, a lot of us, you know, um, we um, we are, we're so money mindset. I get money, this and that, but we're literally um, starving like our ourselves from being from living more altruistic and be more one. Cause this money mindset is making you less um, like less spiritual, pretty much. You know, cause you gotta be very individualistic. You know. You can't get all money. There's, there's never, there's never enough money in the world to sort of satisfy you, you know, or one. I just say, right? So, but being cashless, like we're using less cash, 
you know, and more um, sustainable yeah. community philosophy, you know, where we're going to need, you know, and that this means, you know, having less things, but having more at the same time, you know, where, you know, with this kind of society that it's being created regardless, you know, not just like us, but everyone's thinking the same way as well, too. You know, you see the memes on Instagram, oh, will you, will you, you know, quit your job? Nine to five and no Wi Fi to live here, you know, and some like bohemian, you know, uh, tree house place, whatever it's called. And it's like, yeah, like everyone's like, yeah, for sure, like that post, you know, and like, yeah, it's gonna happen eventually at some point, you know, like you don't, you don't even take that long to like make your own food and to be more cashless with your own food supply and rent. Once you own a, you know, even a small property, you know, let's say we own it, let's say we own an acre, we can house like. At least like six families with that with that one with that one acre alone, you know, and it's focused on agriculture pretty much, and you know, and building up sh um, shelters and whatnot. And before you know it, like we're barely have to go so far for what to go work, you know, use a car so much to go transport for work or supplies, you know. So once like you know that is done, you're not going outside as much, you know, and. For food yeah. and whatnot, so that's more money, you know, um, to use. Where pretty much the money that one has now, the cash that one yeah. has now, we're gonna buy ourselves out of this cash full society, you know, and we'll move towards cashless. Uh, yeah. But um, we're gonna stop it for stop it right there, pretty much. At this kind yeah. of point, you know. So. <laughs> yes, if. Um, no. this resonated with Mommy. you, let us know in the comments. Mommy. Hello. Mommy. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, honest. Back to the kids, you know. Give yeah, thanks to the kids, you know. The next generation, you know. We do it for them, yeah. you know. We're setting this up for them now, so they're even they're delivering even more cashless. And at some point we'll be cash free. Yeah. So give yeah, thanks to that, you know. Bless us a lot.